Inside Out Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. And begin by painting all of your nails black. On your pointer nail, we're going to begin by painting Joy's head and neck. So start with her head and it's about a circle and then add her neck below. And I'm using sort of like a nude color to paint or a light peach color. So now using white, I'm going to be painting two ovals for her eyes. And the ovals are squared off at the bottom, so it's not rounded on the bottom. They've got a straight line on the bottom and then just a line for her teeth. So now I'm going to be using a darker blue and I'm going to be painting her hair. So I'm going to start by just painting like her bangs that come down over her forehead. And you may be wondering why I'm no longer painting on my fingernail and I'm painting this on a nail tip. Well, my camera decided not to record for the majority of this tutorial, so I did everything twice. So you're getting my second go around at this. And so yeah, maybe it's a little better. I don't know. Regardless, I'm sorry for the inconvenience. And yeah, it's the same steps anyway. So I finished painting her hair and I like to start with the hairline. And then work up and she's got this like little tuft of hair that goes up in the back of her head so don't forget that and this may need a second coat just so that it looks the same covering over the peach and the black So now I'm going to be adding a dark blue circle in each eye and the circles are a little bit towards the center of her face not quite cross-eyed, but just so she looks like she's looking right at you and she looks really happy and bright. So now with black, I'm going to begin the outlining. So I'm going to actually start by just creating a parallel line right underneath her smile, just so that that's like the back that's inside of her mouth, and then a little tiny line for her nose. And I'm not going to do too much outlining here because with these cartoons, there isn't very much on them. They're a little bit more simple in the outlining factor. So just I'm going to do like a partial outline around her eyes. So I'm going to outline everything but the very inner corner. And I'm also going to give her some um, her pupils. And if you want, you can also separate her head from her neck. Um, it's up to you. So I'm going to highlight her hair with a lighter shade of blue. And I'm just going to use really thin lines and paint them in the direction of hair growth. This is not necessary, and if you didn't want to do it, I would just start out with the light blue with her hair and not worry about the dark blue in the beginning, just because otherwise it's a little bit too dark. But this does make the whole design look so much better when you highlight the hair, so I do suggest doing so. Okay, so now I'm going to put a little highlight, which is a dot in each eye with white, and then pink lips. So I'm just going to basically outline the teeth and the inside of the mouth that we did with bright pink. And now on your middle nail, which is Sadness, I'm going to start by painting Sadness's head, which is almost kind of a wide oval or a square shape. And I did actually make it a little bit taller in one area for where the part of her hair is, and I'm using light blue. And now I'm going to add two white circles for her eyes that are fairly close together and fairly small, and right about in the middle of her head at a slight angle. So now using dark blue, the same one I used for Joy, I'm going to be... I'm going to be adding her hair. And when you're painting these, I would suggest looking at a picture just so that you can see how the hair goes and all of that so you know what you're painting and you don't have to figure it out as you go along or work from memory. And so you're also going to want to add her eyebrows, which are very slanted so that it makes it look like she's pouting or she's sad, and straight lines for her eyebrows. And then you also need to add a little circle in each eye. So now I'm going to be using a really light gray and I'm going to be painting the sweater below her head. So I'm just going to go right along that edge. And if you need to fix up the way it, her chin looks, you can. Like mine was a little bit too pointed. I want a little bit more of a rounded shape and you can adjust that there. 
So now I'm going to start and I'm going to do the thin black outline. So I'm going to start with the bridge of um, her glasses, so where the bridge of her nose would be, and then paint a circle around each eye. And you might intersect her eyebrows, that's just fine. In fact, it actually looks a little better if you do. And you want to make sure that these are nice, big, round circles for her glasses. And try and keep them as thin as you can, but if you need to touch them up with your light blue, if something goes awry, you can and it's not a problem. And also add her nose. And then her smile. And her smile is actually a frown, so don't listen to me. And I'm going to separate her sweater from her face just a little bit. I'm not going to go all the way across. And then add a little bit of lines coming down on her sweater. So now highlight her hair with the same light blue as her face and do the same, just little lines going the direction of hair growth. On your ring now, it is disgust. So I'm going to begin by painting her face with a light green. And hers is also kind of a wide oval, similar to Sadness's face. But it's a little bit, it's not quite as wide, it's a little taller. And then paint her neck. And now add two thin slits for her eyes with white. So they're almost more like a line, but they do, they are thicker in the middle and they do taper on the edges. But they're not, not too exciting. So now I'm going to be painting her hair with darker green. And again, I'm going to start with where her bangs are and then work on the top of her head. Okay, so I'm going to be outlining her eyes with that same dark green color, and I'm going to outline all the way around. And then I'm going to add a half circle in each eye, and then her eyebrows. And also add just a little thin line for where her, the top of her eyelid is or where her eyelid creases. So I'm going to be um, outlining the very top line of her eyes with black. And then I'm going to be giving her her nose. Oh, and at her pupils too. Forgot about that. And her nose is more of an upward triangle, whereas the other ones are just like a little line. Hers is just a little bit of a, like an upward angle. So I'm going to give some low lights in her hair. Um, so I'm just going to add with that black, I'm just going to create a few little lines just to create a little bit more depth since her hair is so dark. So now using dark green, I'm going to add some eyelashes. And then I'm going to be highlighting her hair with the light green color. And then add her mouth with bright pink. On your pinky nail is fear, which is one of my favorite ones to paint. So I'm going to start with lavender or a very light purple color. And I'm going to be painting the shape of his head. Now the back of his head is just a straight line, but then the front of it sort of puckers out where his mouth is. And then add two circles on the top for where his eyes are. And then his nose. So now add eyebrows above his head. And sorry that my words are in the way of seeing that. Um, but there you can see him. And then there's a little bit of a swirl that comes out from the back of his head. So just add a little curl on the edge. And now I'm going to be adding two white ovals for his eyes. And as you can see, I was not quite patient enough to let my purple paint dry and I just went right for the eyes. Let your purple paint dry, otherwise it's going to swirl together and create a mess. Which is fixable, but I'd rather avoid it. <laughs> and then add his teeth. So now I'm going to be adding a lavender spot in each eye. And then I'm going to be adding his pupils. 
And then I'm going to do just a little bit of outlining with the black. So I'm going to go around his eyes just to define him a little bit since the lavender is such a light color and the white doesn't pop as well as it could. And then I'm also going to define his nose and add a couple little lines. And then I'm going to outline his mouth and then line the separators between his teeth. On your thumb, we're going to be painting anger, and I forgot to record the first part twice, so <laughs> just start by painting a square that has a little triangle at the bottom of it, and then fill in along the sides, avoiding that little triangle with gray for his shirt. So now with white, I'm going to be painting his eyes, so I'm going to start just by making two little dots in the center so that I know I'm leaving the appropriate amount of space on each side, and then they're like half circles. So now I'm going to add a red half circle in each eye. And now I'm going to do some black and I'm going to outline his shirt and add just a couple little details to it. And then I'm going to outline his brow bone, which is really important for him because he's got such a pronounced brow bone. So it really helps if you do that. I'm going to do just a little bit of outlining on his eyes. I'm going to give him pupils. and a mouth, which is in a frown. And of course, add a layer of top coat. And I wanna apologize again really quick for some of the goofy recording things and jumping back and forth between my fingernails and a nail tip. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like my design. Please share recreations with me on Facebook and Twitter. I love to see them. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.